So here I've set up three dual voltage secondaries. I'm less concerned with what's going on on the primary side on these, just looking at the secondary and I'm trying to develop different outcomes. On the first one, I want it to be 120 volts between the two leads. On the second one, 240. Then on the third one, I'm gonna try and get 120 and 240. See if I can get both options out of the same dual voltage transformer. See if I can. Okay. So here, obviously I have, I'm not gonna have a voltage between these wires because they don't connect together. I haven't put my jumpers in either of these. So I simply have one lead of this winding and one lead of the other winding. Am I gonna put my jumpers in the center, a single jumper in the center, or a jumper in each side to develop 120 volts? Well, let's think about that. I've got 120 volts developed on this winding, and if I connect it in series, I'll add another 120 volts. That give me 240. Maybe that would go better over here. Let's think about that. Primary voltage going in there. It's inducing my voltage back. Go to my X1 here. Develop 120 volts. Put my jumper in across the middle. And then go through the second winding and develop another 120 volts for 240. Put my two windings in series for the higher voltage option. Voltage is additive, higher voltage. But if I want to keep 120, just like those two batteries, I'm gonna to have to put them in parallel to keep the voltage the same. How do I do that? This winding and this winding are each induced, each have induced in them 120 volts and 120. So I wanna take the, it's, this is the key part here. I need to take the right side of each winding and connect them together. That jumper connects the right side of this winding and the right side of this winding. And if I put the other jumper here, connects the left side of this winding and the left side of this. So if I go from this line to see what is my voltage potential across here, I will go up here, splits off, develop 120 volts on each winding in parallel, and then come to this other winding. This other line, excuse me. 120 volts, parallel, lower voltage option. Over here, I wanna get both. Well, I know how to get 240 volts. I need to add the 120 to the 120. So let's put that jumper in and the lines down for 240. Between this line and this line, I now have 240 volts. Induced 120 into it, goes through the jumper, adds another 120 volts and comes down. 240 volt difference of potential. Voltage is the same as difference of potential. Now, how could I get 120 there as well? Well, I see 120 volts here and I see 120 there. How about if I use this line and something in the middle? How many volts would I have here? Yeah, from this line, I only go through the one winding and I come down and out this line. That would be 120. And what do I have between the left line and the center? That only goes through one winding, so I have 120 there as well. We'll call this for right now, we'll call it a center tap. So now I'm going out with three wires. If I go between these two, I have 240 volts. Between these two, 120. 
and between these two, 120. Very similar to what you have in your house. We'll have another video on that. So you can see how the voltage in a freestanding house in the US is different than a lot of our commercial voltages that are 120, 208. Now I know 208 here, that's gonna come with a three phase system. Another video for that one.